Hello, boys and girls. So I thought that since Miss Smith had been talking so much about spring and seeds and plants and pollinators and all of these awesome things in science, that I would read a book to you called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. So this is a really good book that goes along with what she has been talking about in science. So I wanted to share it with you. And I am doing the video this way so you can see the really pretty pictures that are in this book. Okay, so Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring, su spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the, up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens while they squabble and scratch and we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, peel bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight, hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We put them down to snuggle in the dirt. Down in the, down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt and sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns to hose me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and long-legged long long spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious, too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck june bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind growls too. The wind grows too. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana 
ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow. Ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the, dirt, in the dark. When Grandpa calls, up, calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer, summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. The end. Okay, so that's a really cool story about what happens through all the seasons in your garden, up in the garden and down below that dirt, down below all of your plants. So what I want you to do is I want to give you a little writing activity. I want you to go outside Anywhere around your yard, it can, it doesn't have to be a garden. If you do have a garden though, you can go into your garden, but anywhere that you see trees or plants or flowers or anything out in your yard, and I want you to tell me, what do you see up in the garden? What do you see up there? And then I want you to look down into the dirt and tell me, what do you see down in that dirt? Okay, so some of the examples that were in the story is, down in the dirt, they saw crickets and worms and pebbles and slugs and things like that. And then up in the garden, they saw ladybugs and bumblebees and birds and flowers. So I want you to go outside and tell me what do you see up in the garden, up on top of your plants and your flowers and trees, and what do you see when you look down into the dirt, okay? So I want you to just write me a story about that. Make sure in your story that you are using full sentences, capital letters, and punctuation. So exclamation points, periods. Make sure that you write neatly. And I want you to post a picture of your writing in the comments underneath this assignment. Okay, I cannot wait to see what creative writing you post and um, what comments you have about this book. So I will see you tomorrow.